<laughs> Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we have a brand new GPU to unbox and a mystery care package from none other than the Red Panda Mining. So without further ado, let's stop wasting time and let's spin that intro. Pew! Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Package here. Hey, how's it going? We got a couple cool new packages today. We got a GPU in here and we got a mystery box from our man, Red Panda Mining, all the way from Canada. Let's go ahead and open these up. Let's see what we got. If it looks a little hot in here, cause it is a little hot in here. The mining cave is at 88 degrees. We had to turn off all the cooling to get this video pumping. Ignore the test bench over here. This guy's on hold for a minute because we don't have the screws to mount our rad because this is a Chinese test bench. So we need to go get some good American screws to mount this thing. But enough of that. Let's tear into these boxes and see what we got. Let's start with the mystery box from Red Panda because I have absolutely no idea what's in there. So let's take a look. And by the way, this hat is from Doge Lord Apparel. I'll put a link down in the description. Hop over there, get you some Red Panda mining, get you some Misfit mining apparel, quality merch, you will love it. So let's open the mystery box. It's that time, RGB knife, engage. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Like I said, I have absolutely no idea what is in here. I was talking to Red Panda on Discord. He said, hey man, shoot me your address. I was like, okay. What are you gonna send me? I don't know. It's a pretty heavy box. So first and foremost, that's a nice heavy item. I know what that's gonna be. Let's just open that and see exactly what that is. Very well packed, Red Panda. Impressive. This would be 1500 watt server PSU. This thing is sealed. This is a brand new 1500 watt server PSU. That's exciting, man. That is a very nice item. I'm uh, I'm pretty thrilled with that. Thanks, man. So let's see what else we got in the box. Ooh, I love the orange box. We know where that came from. Our man Vistang. And one other item. Let's see what's in here. Whoa, hoo -hoo, those are some pretty splitters. That is a eight pin to dual eight pin splitter. Those are really nice, high quality. I know because I have these exact same splitters. They are the braided wrapped, very nice splitters. And it just happens to be that I'll be building another rig. So these are gonna definitely come in handy. I may even use this server power supply in the next build. We're gonna have to see what actually fits and how we do it. So what's in the beautiful orange box? This is a GPURisers.com box. Let's see what's actually in the box. That is a Pico adapter for our server PSU. What a Pico adapter is, is you basically can use this to plug it directly into your motherboard. Without a Pico adapter, a server power supply cannot plug into the motherboard. You have to either have a Pico adapter or a ZSX all-in-one um, breakout board to use any kind of server PSU with your motherboard. So that's a nice little addition. And then some nice risers from, I guess these are the GPURisers.com risers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I'm floored by that. I actually needed some more risers to go with my frame. I have six set in here ready, but I'm going to build that out to a 12 card. So that's amazing. These are, let's take a look at one of these risers. These are very high quality. Uh, let's see what version these are. I think 
So there they are, the GPU risers.com risers. I think they're a version nine, but they don't actually say right on the riser itself. So here, let's take a close up look. These are the GPU risers.com risers. These are quality. These are the way to go with your risers. They do optimal power delivery. They have the four different power caps, capacitors, and they deliver a nice steady power. And for what I hear, these things have a very low failure rate. These are my first ones from GPU risers.com. So I'm pretty excited to fire these things up. So I just want to say thank you, Red Panda. Really, you didn't have to do this. I, I, it's amazing what you've done for the community that you're helping other content creators that you continue to give back. You are a man among men. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, mining community, please shower him with praise. Go to see every video, subscribe. Please show him some love for everything he does for us, for the community. He's been doing this for a long time and we really appreciate you, buddy. So let's tear into our next item. This one I actually bought myself, so we're gonna tear into it. It is a very expensive GPU. It is a very nice GPU and you're gonna like it. Let's move all this stuff away with, uh, let's do the uh, red panda thing and let's just make it go away. <laughs> Man, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to do that more often. Thanks for sharing that tip. That'll save me so many hours in the day if I can just snap my fingers and things will get done and they'll just appear. It's magic, baby. All right, let's open this up. This is a GPU. I got this from Amazon and it is one of the more expensive AMD 6700 XTs. But this card is very unique and we're gonna talk about why it's so unique. You ready for it? all white 6700 XT AMD Power Color Hellhound. I already had the other Hellhound, the normal black edition. This is the all white. And what makes this thing so unique is the all white PCB. The board underneath the cooler is actually white. Hardly any companies actually do this. This might be the only one of the new gen cards on NVIDIA side or AMD side that actually have the all white PCB. This card is quite nice. It is quite unique. We're going to, in another video, we're going to open this thing up. We're gonna unbox it. We'll talk about the specs. We'll get it in our test rig. And then we're gonna test it on all the algorithms and we're gonna see how it compares to some of the other graphics cards we already have. We're gonna start making a nice long spreadsheet with all the nerdy numbers, with all the overclocks. That way we can keep track of which card's doing which. Cause now we have this one. We have this quick still in the box. These KOs are still in the box. I've got like eight other GPUs that I need to hook up and test. It's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be a lot of fun. Once again, thank you, Red Panda. Seriously, man, you are awesome. I appreciate you. Let's go into our outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. I just want to once again give a huge thanks and shout out to Red Panda Mining. I was completely floored with this care package. Red Panda Mining has been a pioneer in the mining community for quite some time and he continues to give back. Make sure to follow all of his content. You won't be disappointed. If you're new to mining or you just need some help in general, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.